Hello, I'm Ryan F9, and today we destroy the $300 Scorpion EXO R710 and the $30 AHP helmet. I'm pretty sure this thing doesn't have a real name. The ECE and DOT approval is equally questionable because unless this is Chinese for Department of Transportation, well, it doesn't appear to have any legal certifications. Also, the seller on eBay calls this a top grade and beautiful ABS shell, but the sticker on here says polycarbonate, spelled incorrectly, of course. Then there's the fact that it arrived in a garbage bag. No microfiber sleeve, no box, no protection. Whatever safety level this helmet had, it's probably compromised just from shipping. Plus the helmet smells so strongly of glue that if I wear it more than five minutes, I feel high. Anyway, the first of our crash tests is waterproofing. The Scorpion has an Elliptec visor, which seals with the decisive thud of a Bentley's boot lid. Meanwhile, the AHP helmet closes with the most annoying sound in the world. Plus, the vents look like they were made to fit a different helmet. Of course, that doesn't really matter because with no holes in the EPS foam, the vents don't lead anywhere. The AHP does have this zip-on neck warmer, though. I can't decide if that's innovative or idiotic. Now, soundproofing. Our next test is puncture strength. How many shots to penetrate the shell and visor of each helmet? Looks like six shots to get through the shell of the Scorpion. And only one shot to get through the ABS slash polycarbonate mystery shell of the AHP. Plus it went through the EPS and comfort foam underneath too. Yep, the third shot embedded in the visor of the Scorpion, that's normal. Holy shit. And that is so not normal. Only one shot to blow a cannon-sized hole through the AHP's visor. Straight up dangerous. Now for the fun test. Yes, sir. So the legitimate helmet passed the side, top, and rear impact test. Very good. Meanwhile, the bargain beauty clocked over 100 Gs on all three. But that's hardly surprising when you consider their size. See, the eBay embarrassment is way smaller and lighter at 1,175 grams. Now, even a shit Sherlock could deduce that AHP didn't really put much impact padding in here. Abrasion resistance. And the Scorpion helmet is tri-matrix, meaning that its shell is woven together with fiberglass and aramids. Meanwhile, the AHP non-helmet is either ABS or polycarbonate, depending who you ask. My bet is that it's neither. And there you have it. 26 seconds for the Scorpion and only 21 seconds for the AHP. Both are actually pretty close and neither are very good. Golf Town, the R710's chin bar is fully lined with EPS foam. Meanwhile, the helmet's chin bar is fully lined with blue foam. No disrespect to the color blue, but that doesn't seem very thick. Also, as we found out after the abrasion test, they're only using styrofoam in here rather than EPS, and there's about a finger's width between the shell and what's underneath. Damage report. The Scorpion handled itself quite admirably, whereas the AHP looks like it's been run over by a truck. Now the visor shattered, the chin bar is basically gone, we put a massive crack around the entire back of the helmet, and the melons are undoubtedly going to reflect this fact. Scorpion? AHP. This state of destruction seems like the perfect time to assess build quality. Now on the Scorpion, the Elliptec visor is still working perfectly. And for vents, we're three for four. The chin's busted, but good there, good there, and good there. Padding inside looks nice too. Meanwhile, on the cheapo lid, the only thing that's still working is the hideous neck condom. Oh joy. Tallying the scores, the Scorpion EXO R710 was better in every single way, while the AHP helmet was dangerous in every single way. If you're familiar with our old scoring system, the R710 would have notched 6 out of 9, while the AHP would have scored 0. As punishment for being one of the worst ways to spend $30, this happened.
Oh wow, the whole thing's just melted. Yep. And that about does it for this crash test. On behalf of myself and Brian F9, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Take care.